Hey everybody, welcome back to Fort Tree Labs. This is Professor Thiele here, and I have one of our other researchers here with us this time for this. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm lab assistant Maria, and I'm here to enjoy the card game situation here with the professor. Yeah, so uh, I had a lot of codes left over from the GameStop flash sale this weekend. Uh, I had some that I used for the giveaway, and then I had others that were just hanging out. Uh, all in all, I had 85 code cards just sitting around that weren't being used for anything that I didn't have any plans for. A lot of them were promos, um, and then the others were packs. And so what you're seeing here are 65 booster packs from the X, Y, and Sun and Moon series. Uh, That's a decent amount, man. It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's just enough that I thought I can't open these on my own. Like this is this is absolutely ludicrous. I with this number I am bound to get some crazy stuff. Uh, by far the majority comes from 23 of them in Guardians Rising. I have a lot of salt towards Guardians Rising because I've been hunting that Rainbow Alola Nine Tails GX for a while now, and I keep getting packs with nothing. Um, that was a mouthful, man. Yeah, uh, you don't do a whole lot with the cards. Uh, you've seen my card openings here. This uh, I don't know how many YouTube channels really do card opening videos uh but we're gonna do them so we're gonna open up these 65 packs i'm gonna go all the way back to steam siege we got 12 here um if i don't open them all up from the same set at once it's gonna take forever this is already gonna go faster than a real life opening though because all the commons and uncommons here it just shows for you uh and then all it leaves for you is any rares to flip over uh that's actually so. pretty cool yeah, this is like the only decent part of the entire UI for this game. But we got a uh, non-hollow Avalug to start off with. Nothing crazy there. I'm not going to announce all the pulls unless there's something great. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of talk Pokemon stuff. This yes. past year was really exciting for Pokemon, honestly. Hey, yeah, there's a reverse rare. It was, uh, it was super fun to wait for Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun. You actually enjoyed them. I know you're one of the uh, few out there that just really, really loved those games. I haven't touched uh, them myself. Sun and Moon or Ultra uh, Sun? Sun and Moon I played. I loved Sun the first time I played it. I haven't touched uh, Ultra Sun though. Uh, it's, it's to me, oh, that is gorgeous. Ampharos is a fun, beautiful design in general. Oh yeah. Um, the problem I have with Sun and Moon in general is the absolute ridiculous hand holding at the beginning of the game. It's and It insane. does take a while. We got a Xerneas break it. here. Uh, I don't know where Xerneas break sits in the meta or how good it is, but it's a really pretty card. I have never seen a card like that. Yeah, the that break is... cards came out in X and Y partway through. They're um, evolutions of Pokemon that don't evolve usually, uh, like Xerneas here. You place it on top. It keeps all the attacks from the Xerneas card you put it on top of uh, while having this extra new one, uh, usually an increase of HP too. They're really... So... I'm not a huge fan of the design of the break cards personally. I don't like the backgrounds. I wish that they had kept the regular background colors of the card instead of all the white checkerboard. Um, they look better like online. Shiny, or... shiny stuff is fun, right? I uh, usually. Um, <laughs> I will say these look better in person than, than, than they do in the card game. Very much I so. Mean, I think most of these will look more beautiful because you're gonna get yeah. you can put it right in your face man and the strategy for these really comes from uh from what i've seen at least from what you put it on top of because if you put it on top of a pokemon uh, like a xerneas with one attack over a xerneas with another attack it's going to be a different experience i don't play with them too much um uh, i know a lot of people still do i think they're still in standard uh i don't know that you were right in the hand holding though like i Sun and Moon, a lot of the rumors going around before they were coming out was that they were going to be much more difficult than the last generation was, and that ended up not being true. Hey, I actually pulled one of these uh, in real life today. Whoa, so you have some... Wow. It's so shiny, though. Like, it's like... It's this one, I think, almost. looks sick. The extra, like, nastiness energy coming off of its hands, I think, makes that one look better. I still don't like the checkerboard background on them, though. Hey, maybe maybe Yveltal is a fan of checkers. A hot topic, boy. Oh, it's a good, beautiful boy. Uh, ooh, Full Art Volcanian EX. That's a card that's actually worth a lot in real life, I think. I love how steampunky Volcanian looks. That entire set that they debuted it in was uh, 
was really steampunky and really cool. You'll see that in a lot of the background art on the cards. So that card right there in real life is selling for about eight bucks, so it's not crazy, but uh, I really like the simplicity of this card specifically. I, I do too. I was looking at it. You know, it stands out in its own way. It really does. Um, the hand-holding, but like we were saying before, is... It's excessive to me in Sun and Moon. I loved the story and I loved playing through them the first time for the story specifically. Like, I think the characters in Sun and Moon are some of the best characters the Pokemon game has had its entire run ever. But. Lily Gladian yes. and. Uh, How? Luz and Lusamine and Guzma. Lusamine. Guzma See, you were talking wonderful. about Steampunky. <laughs> oh, Clang. Clang is a Pokemon. Clink Clank and Clang was a Pokemon that I never really got. Never mind that. There's my boy, Galvantula. So, I love this Galvantula card specifically. A lot of the cards in this set are dual types. So if a Pokemon is two types, like Galvantula's Electric and Bug, uh, it gives it the green and the yellow card uh, on both sides, which is really cool to me because that... Man, I really wish they expanded on that because that would mean that this is a Pokemon that can cover weaknesses in the game a lot more. Uh, and they stopped doing it, man, and I, it hurts my heart that they stopped at that. So here's our last Steam Siege pack. Let's hope for a uh, last pack magic. Steam Siege has been really, really kind to me. Uh, so we don't get a break. The break would be in the reverse. Uh, this is the reverse hollow slot part, yeah. And this is where... Oh, okay. uh, that's the one that has the hollow along the outside. This is where the break card would be. But we do get a... Another Avalog. Yeah, regular rare Avalog. I love that card art. I just wish it was hollow. Just... Can I just mention this Klefki here is freaking adorable. I have a reverse Klefki like that in real life, if I remember, that's really, really nice. Klefki's just a oh great God, Pokemon as a whole. It is wonderful. Like, I know people don't always like uh, Pokemon that are based on items, but I do, they have a special place in my heart. Let's move over to Breakthrough, uh, since we've only got three of those. Uh, Evolutions is a set that I want to talk a little bit about when we get to, because I... I have a complicated relationship with it. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these little cuties. So yeah, I haven't cuties. opened much, many breakthroughs online. Um, I haven't opened many breakthroughs in real life, but there's a reverse rare Mamoswine. I love that Pokemon. There is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon uh, evolution lines in this group. Which one? Star You and Star Me. They're great. I have. I love them so much. There's something about them. There's a Ooh. hollow Haxorus. Haxorus is a cool, it's a cool dragon. I will say, uh, cause I, I did beat Pokemon Sun and I had, an, I love that art. I had an amazing time with it that first time, but okay. That Mewtwo EX, uh, 163 out of 162. That's a secret rare. It's beautiful. Jeez. In real life, that sells for eight bucks. So, I mean, if, if this was a real card that I had pulled from a real pack, I would have doubled the money from it. Um, on, you know, a $4 pack. So that's actually really nice. I've been playing um, Alpha Sapphire again. And despite how easy it is in a lot of ways, except I've already lost one of the battles. I lost to Archie on Mount Pyre. Um, I don't know. It gave me a lot more freedom to do things than Sun and Moon did. Like, it, it felt natural, and it felt like it was flowing naturally in Sun, the way the story went and how limited the routes were and stuff, because you got from point A to point B story-wise. But in these older games, when you have a little bit more freedom between story elements to know, okay, there's the person I have to talk to to progress, I can stay here and run around instead, is really nice. It is. Um, Alpha Sun is... Uh, excuse me, that's the wrong word. <laughs> Ultra Sun, um, they, I feel they made the beginning a little bit snappier. Yeah. They also made the fact that, uh, did you know that Hal in Ultra Sun, when he ever, and whenever you meet him, his Pokemon is usually out running with him. They completely wasted those. Sorry if you guys watching this can hear me drinking, I apologize. They wasted the walking animations thing again. I was really hoping that they would be used like for you as a trainer somewhere. Because uh, I know they data mined that every Pokemon has a walking and running animation unique to them. Uh, it's so cute. This set is called XY Evolutions, Maria. Um, this set I have a love-hate relationship with because it's really cool. And you'll probably be able to tell why on this first pack. It was the 20th anniversary, one of the 20th anniversary sets they did. Um, 
can you already tell why it's such an amazing oh set? Oh my god. It's the base set art, uh, besides oh a few cards. My god. Now, here's where the love hate relationship comes from. Uh, you don't get anything, period. Uh, <laughs> it's. Oh my god. So there's a reverse hollow energy, which is good to have. But the problem is that hollows, as you can see, we're already in two packs and there hasn't even been a single hollow besides the reverse, are really, really hard to come by. Uh, I have opened tens upon tens of these packs. Uh, well, I mean, two tens and then tons of packs of these and never got a single hollow. I mean, so there's a reverse rare that we get which is nice but the reverse rares tend to not really go for much so if you were trying to buy these packs and kind of make your money back while collecting you can't um the full arts that you can get from this which full arts are uh like the volcanian that i had earlier in the mewtwo they take up the whole card uh full arts are some of the most valuable cards you can get and evolutions the full arts aren't really worth as much um naturally the only ones that are really worth anything are charizards um, but as you can see, we're like halfway done with the evolutions packs and we haven't got anything yet. You got a lot of basic boys. A lot of basic boys and a lot of reverse rares happen, but look at all those farfetched. Yeah, and those Arcanine. You have you can have like an army of Arcanines and farfetched. There are two trainer cards that are full art that are really nice. Um, I've got two of the same one in real life for Misty's Determination. They're beautiful cards, but there's a reason that they only sell for like 10 to 14 bucks uh, compared to most full arts. And oh my God, that card. Uh, it's because they, um, they're not necessarily cards you'd want to use. And when they replace the slot of you getting a hollow rare, there's a Charizard there EX. Whoa. What does that Charizard EX go for? Let's see. Can it, are, are you seeing, um, Okay, so it's about four bucks. I don't think the people that are recording are seeing that. I think they're only seeing the Pokemon screen. But I'm Googling prices uh, on for Troll and Toad as I look at this, guys. Of course. Um, so there you, there you go. go. That's man. the card you want to pull specifically from this. I uh, had this card as a child. Yeah. it's. I don't remember what it goes for uh, about right now. But that's the card you want to pull from that. About ten bucks. So, I mean... That's, and it's unfortunate. There's some sets like uh, the Guardians Rising that will open up at the very end. I'm saving that. One of the cards that you can pull from there that's one of the rarest ones is 50 bucks for the simple version of it. Then you jump up past that to the other prices. Uh, well, it was about 50 last I checked, uh, like 48, but okay. So that's another like, I think that's another like $10 card. Um, gorgeous. Or right below it. It is gorgeous, yeah. Uh, Venusaur is my Kanto starter. Really? Absolutely. I I tend to go grass a lot. <gasps> My boy Pidgeot! So we're getting I a lot of the uh, later pack magic. Last pack. So let's see what we get. Um, Here we go. I was hoping we would at least pull one Mew Hollow for me to oh, show you. Oh, Beedrill! Beedrill is one of my absolute favorites. And there's a oh, non-hollow Mew too. Uh, I remember that, that card was the most amazing thing ever back in the day. Oh, yeah. Sun and Moon are great. Um, I know you've been having fun with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, I don't know, man. I. It seems like it's a lot of the same up until a certain point, and for me, that is just kind of something that I'd rather wait for. I would not tell. Like, if you enjoy Sun and Moon enough, then, but don't feel like replaying them immediately, then don't worry about it. It's curious to me that they would. Didn't we just get him last pack? Malamar is uh, up up in the hood. <laughs> it's oh it's really I love the art for like this specific art. They have that on a few cards in this set, but it's just really curious to me that they would re-release uh, that game that simple. I mean, we're used to if they're gonna give us another version of the same game. Generally speaking, we get something else in between it. Uh, hey, I've got that card in real life. Oh, Marshadow. Marshadow. GX. So yeah, we're stepping into Sun and Moon now. You've seen the EX cards that we've come through. These are GX cards. It's the Sun and Moon version of them. Uh, they come in three variants usually. Uh, this is the standard variant. They come in a full art variant that I'm hoping we'll get at least one up for you to see. Um, and then they have the Rainbow Rare variant for some of these. And the Rainbow Rares are gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, but, that's my boy. But my point Perfect. I was making was just that, like, uh, for example, Ruby Sapphire came out. We didn't get Emerald immediately after. We had Fire Red and Leaf Green in between to kind of, as a palette cleanser. And mm -hmm. I think Alola just kind of needed a palette cleanser. There's a hollow. Oh, Dragonite, my most favorite mascot. Beautiful, beautiful art. I love that one. That's gorgeous. Dragonite makes me smile. I think Gen 7 really just needed a palette cleanser considering how linear the games were. It could be, but on the other hand, we do know that there is a Switch game coming up, so it might need some time to just work on that. I think that's what- I mean, yeah, because we know the dev cycle for this gen was, um, that they had the new people- there's two Decidueyes. They had new people working on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which, uh, from what I've gathered from reviews, from people talking on YouTube and from friends who were playing them, when you get to the stuff that's changed in the games, it's really satisfying, uh, but it's just getting there is a bit of a drag. It is. Um, I just defeated Mimikyu on my playthrough, so I'm still a little in the middle of it. The game has unfortunately dragged enough. That's adorable. Look at that. Oh, Lily Pup is a beautiful pup. Oh, oh Brianne. That's a beautiful piece of art. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that Decidueye. If I had that in real life, I would be set because I would have the full art version from the promo and the rainbow. And I just need this one now. That is really pretty, though. Decidueye's design also works really well. All three of them are great. Yeah. We were talking about did. that yesterday. We were because they deserve that. Um, they deserve it. <laughs> All right, our last Sun and Moon pack. Let's get some last pack magic. Um, pack. Not Ooh. that I... Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, Tauros GX Rainbow Rares. So those are the rainbows. They're actually hyper rares by classification for some of them. Uh, so if you can see down here in the corner, you see the numbers for the set. There's 149 cards in the set. This is 156 out of 149. The hyper rares like that are classified with the secret rares. Tauros... GX Hyper Rare uh, goes for eight bucks. So if I had that in real life, that would be great. Uh, understand people watching this when I talk about the prices with the online cards. Obviously, I'm not selling them. It's against the terms of service, but I like to know these things. That's a big part of collecting for me. So Guardians Rising. This set is my mortal enemy at the moment. Evolutions, I expect disappointment with these. That Ninetales on there. I need the rainbow version. It's the last one I need, and I have not gotten it. Like, I, the Tapu Lele is an infamous card for how expensive it is and how good it is. It's in almost all the top decks right now. And for me to have been disappointed when I pulled a $48 GX card is rare because I would just so much rather have my Ninetales. So let's get into these. Uh, listen, Professor Thiele, are you ready? for my nine tails are you ready to feed the boss i have it in uh in here Tw oh, my oh my goodness God. <laughs> first pack <laughs> there oh. you go oh, man the professor okay okay tapu lele Excellent. that's a 55 dollar card in real life 55 dollars there's some of them that are selling uh for even more than that for people who just want to buy them quick i'm totally beeping out my real name by the way be, be, please do that. If I can figure I, out how to do it. Oh, uh... I'm editing with Movie Maker for Windows 2007, by the way. Oh my Windows god. Windows 7 or something like that, because I don't like any other ones. Uh, my oh, goodness. Little Gent. I, I love that art. I have that one in reverse hollow form. I'm excited for whatever the Switch games are going to hold. Um, like, cautiously excited, I guess. I'm really hoping that we're getting some Gen 4 remakes. That are a little Gen faster paced. Gen 4 is... I never finished them because the grinding in that game got really obnoxious. We got a hollow Meteor. Meteor is so cute. It's pretty I, good, too. Have you seen the shiny version of it? Yes, it hurts me because I want it. Hey, there's my chop dabbing. Oh, dabby boy. Oh, man. Oh. We're not going to get anything from these other packs because of that Lele. That's fine. I mean, honestly, okay, there's a oh Wishy Washy goodness. GX. I pulled two of those from this GameStop haul in real life. It's like a $2.50 card in real life. Um, 
for this version of it. It's a really cool looking card, so I'm happy to have at least one, but I don't need two. I wonder how good it is. I haven't seen it in any decks. Hey, look, it's the Trash Boy. The Trash Boy's evolution is all over the TCG meta right now. Really? Mm -hmm. For one specific type of it that has an ability that... Uh, it's called Garbotoxin, and I don't remember what it does, but... Oh, that's beautiful. I wish that was hollow. Man, I, I hope we get Gen 4 remakes that are a little faster paced and a little less grinding. Hey! Oh my god! A lot of decks with that guy. A lot of them uh, that I've seen. What? What is it for? Is it for... It's just for the high damage, low energy cost, I'm guessing. Hey, whatever makes it, you know, efficient. Yeah. We have uh, 13 packs left, including this one, so let's see what we can get. Um, we got a lot of videos that we have planned coming out. We talked about some top tens today. Uh, we have some yes. research videos happening. Some possible, uh, hey! Whoa, come on! One of my favorite Pokemon. You like Como? Oh, yeah. I have one of them uh, that I bred and used in my son a long time ago. Uh, her, she has the Bulletproof ability, because I like that ability. And her name is LaRue, as a reference to the song Bulletproof. I love it. Oh, she's great. She destroys. Uh, I wish I had... That's the one thing. Honestly, I almost decided to get Ultra Sun legitimately just because the changes they made to Kamo are so good. I did not pay attention to that specifically, unfortunately. It's all competitive stuff. It's, um... Ooh, that is a naughty lizard. Oh my goodness. This is a family-friendly <laughs> show. I, I just said it's a naughty lizard. I pulled a full art Mallow today in real life. Really beautiful card, but nobody's Mallow buying full art horrible. trainers right now. Oh yeah. I wish the captains had a little bit more personality to them. Same. I wish they had more like time to be able to. The only one that had personality I feel was Ilima. Cause you can get to his house. Yeah, I love that art. Look at that boy. I love that art too. I have Did you know? Did you know that there are bats that live in pitcher plants? Really? Mm-hmm. They're tiny bats that live in pitcher plants, too. Oh, my goodness. Look Sonic. at that spiky child. <laughs> so spiky I child? I, I call it a spiky child. Do you have, have one? Have you noticed the scent? Uh, no. I had a Sanshrew. Um, did you know that Sanshrews are de designed after igloos? How did I never catch that? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, there's Maybe a hollow. Oh, okay, the that hollow pattern with the water really works for this card. Delmice is really cool. Yeah, it's shiny. It's awesome. It's in like a reddish. -white the seaweed thing. is red. Oh, that's that's gnarly. There's another oh, guy. I can make boy. a deck with these two. You know, Look and Rock Night Boy is more Sanic than Sand Slash ever will be. All right, we got. I think Comfy. last pack uh, of all this was 65 packs um, we got some decent stuff um, and we didn't really Grandpa. get last pack magic it's a cool card uh, I was really hoping to get at least one uh, we did where what set did we get the rainbow out of was that that was the Sun and Moon base set that we got our rainbow out of uh, so is there a way that I can sort by the cards that we just got today I You're don't asking the wrong believe person. so. Uh, well, that went well. Um, 65 packs, and we did pretty well. I actually did better than I did with my real life ones. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really do too great with all of those. But this was a TCG online opening. If this is something you guys like, it's something we can absolutely do more of. Uh, it's something that I'm 100% willing to do more of. I can do uh, gameplay videos on here. I don't have a whole lot of decks, but if that's something you guys really want to see, tell us in the comments, like this video, and I can start preparing to make some of that stuff happening. happen. Thank you. Thank you for letting me join you. Hey, thanks for joining me. We'll get some of those top 10s rolling out. We'll get some other videos happening. Uh, I know you've expressed an interest in doing some Nuzlocks possibly, and I would love to see that happen. Um, I am totally into that. I'm actually pondering on a randomized crystal playthrough. Ooh, I like that. 
I love Crystal. Such a good game. Crystal was my favorite for the longest time, but then X and Y came around and I might have to change my mind on that. We'll talk more about that X and Y love in another video, because that is a controversial thought to have, really. I, I had fun with them again the first time. But anyway, we're going to call off this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Um, like this video. Comment what your favorite polls were out of this. Uh, comment which one of these your favorite set was or which one of these sets we opened that you think won. And subscribe to the channel. All these things show, show support and make it a lot easier for us to be able to do this kind of stuff. So uh, thank you, Research Assistant Maria. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I hope you guys have a great weekend, week, whatever time it is that I report, re upload this video. Bye-bye.